Hey, this is Dale, FuelInjectorMan.com, and we've had a lot of requests of people wanting to know how to take their injectors out themselves. Well, it's very easy. Anybody can do it. Just a minimum amount of tools, a little bit of knowledge, not much. And we're going to take these Yamaha 154 strokes, and we're going to pull injectors out, show you how easy it is, and walk you through it. So, let's get started. Alright, we already have the cover pulled off this thing uh, and laid off to the side. So we're going to take a few of these other little covers off so you can just get a better view. Uh, the first cover is just this little plastic piece right here that covers your mechanical fuel pumps. And we'll take this top piece off too just so you can get an idea how easy this is. whole lot to it and we're looking at the back of the engine and these are your mechanical fuel pumps right here which come off your filter in the front fuel comes in here pumps fuel mechanically from here all the way around inside behind this butterfly unit there's a tank with electric fuel pump which supplies the, the fuel injector fuel injector rail is right here and this is has constant pressure on it from the electric fuel pump comes over here keeps pressure on these fuel uh, uh, fuel injectors and they fire in the cylinders electrically and here is our fuel injectors right here on this particular engine they're yellow there's one two three four ain't a whole lot to it. There's an electrical connection, electrical plug right here, 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 and here. Now this this fuel system has gas in it at the moment so we're going to take some rags and kind of st stuff in here around the bottom. I'm going to take some old shop rags and stick in here. Just catch any kind of fuel that might spill. First thing we're going to do, we're going to disconnect the electrical plugs. It's got a little piece on it right here. You just mash and pull out, bring off to the side. Do that on all four. We're going to take this little disconnect off also so it's not in our way. Sometimes they're a little hard to get off. And electrically, they're all disconnected. We got our fuel line coming in, our fuel rail, and our injector. One, two, three, four. And we got two bolts that hold this fuel rail on. Take our metric socket. Fuel rail's loose, take the fuel rail and pull it out, just like that right there. And you take each injector and just 
gently pull it out. There's your fuel injector. Leave all your little seals, O-rings, all that attached. Let them dry out for a couple, three, four hours, whatever, and then package them up individually. We just recently cleaned these, so they don't need to, need to be cleaned, so, but we're just going to do it for your, show you how to remove them. that goes against the block, a little grommet that keeps it against the fuel rail, and an O-ring to keep from leaking, and inside here, right here, a little brass piece right there that is actually a filter, and we'll remove that filter and when we clean them, and then we'll put a new filter back in it. And that's how easy it is. When you get ready to put them back in, just be put a little, maybe just a very little bit of Vaseline on here. And that little notch that's right there, just stick that injector, kind of wiggle it back in there where that electrical plug will fit up in there. And then you put them back in there, and make sure that gasket's on there, put it against there, put them all in, bolt it back up, and you're done. Pretty easy, isn't it? Now your engine may be just a little bit different, but basically all the injectors come out the same way. They might, some of the Yamaha injectors, the high pressure units are on the back. Most of them are on the side. Most of the uh, Mercury's are on the side, but they're basically all the same. Just find your fuel rail, your injectors, make you a little diagram how everything goes apart, put it back together the same way, and you're done.